Hi, I'm Lauren from laurenburko.com. Thank you for finding me. I'm so excited to share this journey with you that you have now commenced. So congratulations, because I know firsthand exactly what it's like to show up. To even go and purchase a map, to roll that out and to set foot and hand and do your first downward dog. It's one of the most daunting things I think I have ever done. The practice is about you. It's about stripping back all the layers that you put on yourself, all the beliefs, all the things that we tell ourselves. It's looking at that and that's the workout, okay? That is where you start to make change in your life. When you are in a downward dog and you want to come out of it or you are looking at the way you're coming into a pose and waiting for the next pose, or you find yourself thinking about Friday night while you're in a warrior pose, for example, that's where you start to learn about how you work. What is unique about you? And then you can start to make choices and work out whether it's actually serving you or not. Is this the belief I have around not being good enough and comparing myself to other people on the mat? Is that actually serving me anymore? that's what I love about the practice I love it it brings things up for me still every day every time I practice I love it I love seeing people make transformations you can see it in their face you can see it in their energetic system when they're in a pose and they're trying to hold a pose and all of a sudden they just come to peace with it and they just have this acceptance of their body of exactly where it is in that moment in time, regardless of your shape regardless of your age don't believe it don't buy into any of it you are unique, you are beautiful, just as you are. That's what you get to learn once you start to practice yoga, as I have. And I'm so blessed for yoga, for helping me learn to love myself. Because I know when I first came to do my first downward dog, I didn't even know how to breathe properly. <laughs> I was uh, pushing myself into poses and looking around the room and seeing these beautiful women in full plank positions and they had these strong arms and they could do an upward facing dog and I told myself I couldn't. I told myself that I wasn't strong enough but I wasn't strong enough mentally then either and over the weeks, the months and now years I've taught myself strength and I am strong, I'm stronger than I first was and I'm still building on that strength and I have yoga to thank for that. Uh, it's also taught me to love myself and to accept myself just as I am and I want you to experience that. So here I was on my mat <laughs> comparing myself to people next to me and I told myself that my arms weren't strong enough to do a full chaturanga and yeah sure they weren't they weren't strong enough I had to build that strength but what I also had to build was the strength mentally emotionally spiritually I had to address areas in my life where I wasn't really turning up I was making excuses like I was on my mat that I couldn't do what that person did because I didn't have those tools I didn't have the strength in my arms. I felt as though I needed someone to run my website, for example, or run the back end of my website. I didn't feel like I had the, the tools and the know-how and the ability to do that. So what I really soon discovered was that what I was telling myself physically on my mat was also showing up mentally in my life. So. It's taken years, it's, it hasn't happened overnight. And I think that's the challenge for people is that we can Google most things these days and have it in our mailbox by the following day, but you can't really get results like that physically, mentally and spiritually overnight. And if that's something that you want and you're committed to changing your life and to living the most healthy and authentic version of yourself, then start showing up. Start actually taking time out of your day every day to practice. And then what will happen is the practice that you're doing on your mat and physically filtrates into all areas of your life. 
You'll be doing yoga when you're having a conversation with a colleague at work. Not physically, mentally, because you'll be present in those conversations. That's how yoga has certainly changed my life. Yoga, I guess, also made me look at this victim place that perhaps I was coming from. This poor me. Why did this happen to me? Um, I know that through separating from the person that I married and that I, I loved very, very much, um, that was certainly a, a dark time in my life. I know that I could have gone two ways. I could have become a raging alcoholic. <laughs> um, but I, I chose yoga and I chose to love myself. It was a really challenging year and at the time I wondered why on earth is this happening to me? Why did I attract this into my life? And I had to stop myself often when I was feeling an emotion of anger, sadness or guilt, thinking about my children or why did this happen to me? How did I attract this into my life? And sitting with that, was really challenging but that's where yoga helped me because I was able to actually sit with it. Rather than letting the story build up in my mind, I'd be able to see the emotion come in. Let's take anger for example. Here's an emotion of anger, I'm feeling angry. And I'd just sit with it, see where I've experienced it and what I made it mean and then I would just let it go because that's all they are. It's just an emotion coming in and emotion going out. And that's where yoga teaches us mindfulness. And mindfulness is just having this awareness of all these floating ideas and concepts around, around us that we can choose to attach ourselves to or just choose to see them come and choose to see them go. So they just come in and go out again, like passing clouds. Yeah? It's just the passing. So I have yoga to be very grateful for, but it, it, it helped me through that very dark time when I needed to be a shining light for my children. I was still running a, a full-time yoga studio and I still showed up to teach classes every day. There were some days that I was literally wiping tears away before I opened the door for people to come in. And it healed me through teaching and through sharing this profound practice. It actually helped me be the best version of myself. So rather than taking home the burdens of my life at the time and delivering that and sharing that with my children, I chose not to. And I chose to be my absolute best and to show them that regardless of what is happening in our lives, we can still find happiness and we can still be content within ourselves when we love ourselves. And that's a big thing that, that came up for me is that I needed to love myself, to stop looking around for people to love me or anything else to fill up that, that void, but it had to actually come from within. So by falling in love with myself, it didn't really matter if I didn't have anyone at the end of the day to go home and to be held because I was holding that space to myself. So it's taken me <laughs> a lot of years to get to that place and I certainly don't think I would have done it without the, the help of yoga. I think yoga has really helped me become a, a better mother as well. For example, when one of my children come up to me upset about something, then we just sit and, and explore that. Rather than blocking out their feelings or telling them not to cry, I've, I've learned that crying is it's just energy. It's something that needs to be released and it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful emotion to have and to be able to share. So. Yoga has taught me how to sit and be patient and be in the present moment with my children, which I know in the past I haven't been. I was that person that was sitting texting someone while I was in the conversation with somebody else and trying to do two things at once, believing that multitasking really is the latest thing to do when in fact it's not. We are only who we are right here in this moment. So I try to use that yoga when I'm spending time with my children. We go out in nature and we just play. So I'm really grateful that yoga has taught me that. It's, it's certainly helped me through my pregnancies, through childbirth, through raising young children, breastfeeding, um, the way in which we go about our days, how we make healthy food choices, 
And rather than buying into the story and feeding ourselves whatever it is that we should or shouldn't be having, we just listen to our bodies and we eat food that agrees with us most and we talk about how we feel after we've eaten a carrot. And that's something that I wouldn't have known before finding yoga and adapting all those yoga tools to, to motherhood. So that's why I started this website because clients were leaving my studio and either traveling or moving into state or moving into another suburb and couldn't access my classes. And so I decided to start filming classes and did that and then have had so much feedback that I'm now pretty much delivering whatever it is that clients ask for. So what's been really popular is the five, 10, 20 minute, 30 minute flows. So there's plenty of them in my library. And then there's, they're all themed as well. So there might be a hip opening theme, a shoulder strengthening theme. So depending on how you're feeling in the day, you can jump onto the library, choose the time that works for you and the, and the theme for the, for the day and roll out your mat and press play. It's that easy. Um, and I just hope that that inspires you to keep up a regular practice. I want you to feel what I get to experience every day. So somewhere, wherever you are, on the other side of the screen, welcome, welcome to the practice. I hope this is something that you stick to. It's like turning up to a date with your best mate, except it's with yourself. So do this. This is your health. Make this investment to yourself and you will not look back. Trust me. And while we're on that, it actually gets a little bit addictive because you get to study yourself and that's what yoga is about. It's a study of the self. All the best. Good luck. Look forward to sharing plenty of yoga with you.